Hey there, welcome to this video in our series where we guide you through on how to make a portfolio website, designing on the most popular website builders out there. Today, it's Hostinger's turn. With all the optimization Hostinger offers, I'm confident we can create a stunning Hostinger one-page website design in about 10 minutes. Let's dive right in and get started. To begin learning how to create a portfolio website, we'll need to have a Hostinger subscription. If you don't have one yet, go to the description and click on the discount link. Grab the premium plan since it has all that we'll need and more. When you choose your billing period, I suggest going for the longest one, 48 months. This way you'll get the best price over the longest period. Whatever you choose, create an account with Hostinger, pay by the method of your choice and complete your registration. This whole process is super simple, so I don't think there's a need to expand more. What we need is to reach the dashboard and then we can actually start this Hostinger one page website tutorial. Once you're in the HPanel main dashboard, click on Websites, then click Add Website and select Website Builder. You'll be directed straight to the AI Website Builder that'll ask you to describe what you want. While the tool is actually quite good, for today's hosting our one-page website design tutorial, we're going with the classical approach using pre-made templates. So click on this little text at the bottom. Once you're redirected, you can see just how many designs the hosting or website builder offers. But scroll down until you find a template called Yael. Then click select template. Okay, let's start customizing. First, we should set up your website styles. Click on this icon on the left menu. Then click fonts on top and then edit text style. Here, change the heading font to Krona 1. Nice. Then open up heading 1 and change the font size to something bigger, like 96 pixels. Go back and now choose paragraph customization. Then go with the Jost font option. We can leave fonts for now. Let's go to colors and customize them a bit. Select the first white and make it slightly darker. You can also just enter the FA code. Do the same for the black color and make it lighter. Or again, use the 1A code. We can close the style editor now and move to editing our first section. So click edit section right here. Then backgrounds, and let's go with color here, the one we just set up. Now we don't need this text with the template name, so move it and then change the text itself by simply double clicking on it. To make text be on one line, we can click on the element and use these icons on the side to easily drag to the size we want. Move it up a bit further. Great. Let's change and rearrange the coming soon text the same way we did with the template name. For my design, I also don't need these social media icons. I can simply delete them. Also, delete this small text and instead duplicate the main title, like this. Add our text. And it's a bit too big. Don't worry. Click on edit in this small menu and change the paragraph to heading six. Now let's rearrange these two elements and change the alignment. Good. Let's add a new element by clicking on the plus sign in the left menu. Select image. It'll appear on your design or you can drag and drop it. Make it bigger and place it here. Then click the three dots on this small menu and select send to back to move it all the way beneath our text. Add another text element from the left menu and drag it below the image. Change the text, duplicate the layer and make one more for your email address. You'll see that we have some empty spaces here. If that's the case for you too, simply click this little icon at the bottom of the section and drag it to resize the whole section. Next, go to the image we added and click here to change it. While you can generate images or use royalty free ones, for this hosting or website builder tutorial, let's upload some photos from our device. Then select the photo that perfectly fits in the header, preferably your best photo or most popular product, etc., etc. I think that's good. We can clean this up just a tiny bit and we are done with the main section. Following that, the next part of this hosting or tutorial, about me section. If you click on add section, we can do just that. Let's go with this design. First, go to the edit section and change the color to the sort of gray we set up before. Now we can change the text and add something about ourselves for the visitors to read. Next, we can resize this image placeholder and add something from our library. Hmm, you know what? Let's change these elements placing. I'll use the drag and drop controls to move the image to the left and the text to the right. Nice. 
but we can add one more image to give it a bit more of a dynamic feel to this design. So drag a new image element, and then after moving it somewhere here, upload your image. To spice things up even more, add a new shape element. Now go to edit and select the vertical line. I'll move it right here and we can take a look. I think we're done with the about me section. Now for the main part of your hosting or minimal one page website design, representing your work or products. Go to add new section, projects, and then go with this design. We of course are gonna change the background color. We want each section to follow black white sequence. Now the text is unreadable, worry not. First remove the elements we won't need. Then select the left text elements and change their color to the white we set up at the start. Change the text according to your project and let's move the images so they won't be boringly clumped in a straight line. Like with the previous section, let's add a shape. Turn it into a line and make it white. Move it right to the text and done. You should upload your best images here and resize them to make your portfolio even more dynamic. Feel free to add more images if you have additional work to showcase. Just be cautious not to overcrowd your personal portfolio website as this can impact loading times. Visitors tend to focus on the few standout pieces, so keep it simple. Also, remember to align the bottom two photos. It's easy, as the resizing tool gives you a helpful cursor to guide you. The next part of your one-page portfolio website design should be about what services you provide. Let's add a new section, then services, and go with something like this design. We need to change the text to fit your project and realign it to the left. Move the three text elements closer so we remove any dead space, and then simply add your text to what you actually do or sell. You can use the AI text generator if you don't have anything now. It can at least give you some ideas. Just like before, add a shape. Make it vertical and set the color to light. Position it near the text. Next, copy the shape and move the section to look something like this. No good portfolio or online business is complete without a testimonial. Click add new section, select testimonial and choose this design. Then paste your best testimonial that you want everyone to see and don't forget to include who gave it to you. What else do we need? Well, to give visitors an option to contact you, what better way to do it than with a contact form? So go to add a new section, then contact forms and add this design. Remove what's not necessary for you, or you can leave it if you have a business phone number. But we're changing the background color to black, and of course, the font color to white. Next, click on the form itself, and then edit. If you don't need some of these fields or need more, you can mess around here. But for my design, it has everything I need. What I will do is go to styles, then select form fields and change the fields color to black while changing the titles to white so I get something more classy looking. Also, let's remove the corner radius entirely and change the color of the submit button to white. Naturally, the text will have to be changed to black. The final part of this hosting or one page website tutorial is the footer. Go ahead and add a new footer section, something simple and straightforward, like this one. Select add to all pages. It doesn't really matter since we're only gonna have this one page. Let's move the existing text element to the right and then change the text according to your needs. Change the left text element size to paragraph six and then increase the width of this element so the whole name is on one line. Hmm, maybe we should make the text just a tiny bit smaller to not stand out too much. Right, like this. Don't forget to add your social media links by simply editing and pasting them. But I would maybe like to make the footer stand out even less. Hmm. Let's turn the background black and change the text to white. I think that'll be it. Let's look at how the final design turned out to be. I think for the amount of time we spent building it, the results are great. You can click publish and make your site live with a domain name or keep it on the hosting or subdomain until you decide on your own. And that is it for this video. As you just experienced, building with Hostinger is easy and offers a lot of creativity. So what's left now is for you to go and expand your business or portfolio. Good luck.
Thanks for watching my hosting a one page website tutorial till the end. If you have questions or want to chat, leave a comment down below. If you want to learn how to build a website with Hostinger and WordPress, you can find videos on this topic by subscribing. I hope this video helped you out. Maybe we'll meet again in some future videos. Deuces.